Normally on the morning of a race, I have these little, this little tension in the pit of my stomach. Frankly, a lot of times I wake up a little early and I lay there in bed, running start scenarios through my mind <laughs> about what can happen. Because every race is a completely unknown adventure. Anything can happen from almost boring, easy wins to utter disasters with real threats of physical, personal injury. And we've had all of that just in the last couple of months, frankly. <laughs> my mood is completely based on how my car is handling. I'm in my 50s and I think about that a lot. Sometimes when I'm laying in bed, wake up in the middle of the night, hmm. When I'm in the race car, all of that goes away. The whole world goes away for me when I'm in the race car. One thing I do notice is physically, I gotta work out more and, and continue to focus on that to stay in shape. I'm still winning these races. Still, it's the, what do they call it, old age and treachery, triumphs over youth and enthusiasm. But it isn't really that, it's just the experience. I'm an old war horse and I can see things happening that younger, less experienced drivers don't see. And that's how I still win races. And that's why you still see some of the old guys, me, Andy Pilgrim, Johnny O'Connell, at the top of the results because of that experience on top of a guy who's just proven to have been a fast guy for the last 25 years. It's still there if you keep yourself in shape, keep that good circulation going to the brain. But I do, I, you know, I think about that. I'm doing a little TV, I'm doing some writing, but I love racing and I still need it and want it and love it and go for it. And I'm really glad to have this opportunity with the K-Pax Volvo fully expect to continue to do it for several more years. We have a great relationship with Volvo Cars North America and our race program is a beautiful way to showcase how sporting Volvos are now. What great handling and driving and powerful cars they are on top of the safety.